Good morning, it's the 7th of May, we're in South Cambridgeshire, uh, we're at 90 metres altitude on this farm and this farm is all about min till, um, growing high yields of cereals uh, but without much cultivation and a recent introduction has been sewage sludge which has made a huge difference to these very poor soils. This year we're introducing two new varieties, Banquo and Swallow, uh, both are on uh, in recommended list trials for the first time. Um, Banquo is a hard feed wheat with very high yield potential. It's been the highest yielding variety in some of the highest yielding trials in Eastern England. Um, as you can see, it's quite shy tillering at this stage, but ends up with a very high ear number. Um, most of these tillers survive to produce a good ear. It's relatively early maturity for a feed wheat and it's got pretty good disease resistances, so nothing absolutely outstanding, just a general good all-rounder. Been very consistent in this min-till situation with farmer inputs over the last three or four years. Swallow has very high yields with extremely short and stiff straw. Um, also exceptional septoria resistance. Uh, last year in Scotland in our untreated plots, uh, it was green as green when many of the current varieties were completely dead with septoria. Um, the other feature that it has which is of interest in the north is it's got very high distilling yields, possibly sets a new standard for distilling potential. Um, as you can see it tillers quite freely and produces a very high ear number uh, at the end with beautiful clean ears and lovely grain. Both Banquo and Swallow are went relatively winter dormant. You can see now that they are a little bit shorter than some of the varieties that are around in this trial. Um, they can be sown early if that's what you need to do, but they're also quite happy being sown at any time. As I say, this is end of October, um, they're, they're quite happy. Both varieties carry orange blossom midge resistance as well as the other features.